Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips with South Alabama Home Inspections and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I figured I would do a short video on soffit vents or vents in general. You may have gable end vents, not all roof systems uh, have this type of ventilation system. And sometimes it, if I've done an inspection for you in the past, it may have showed up as a default statement in there uh, to take the time to go and inspect your soffit vents at night with a black, bright flashlight because that's the best time to do it. And so basically what I have here is just a, a pretty big rechargeable flashlight. So hopefully we can see this one because it's in the shade. So let's turn this on and see what kind of problem we have with this one here. You can see that the, hopefully you can, the screen is completely missing. And it's because this vent's probably 50 years old or older. And so they just get degraded over time and need to be replaced. Now another problem uh, I found sometimes is that they've been painted over. What happens? People spray paint their uh, soffit, and when you spray paint that, well, it clogs up the screen. So now uh, air cannot enter into the vent here, and that's how your attic is ventilated. Is the cooler air comes through these soffit vents and exits out through the top of the roof system if you have a ridge vent up there. But you know you may not have these. You may have what's called a gable in uh, vent, but it also has a screen as well. And so that needs to be checked to see if it's missing. And but if you have these missing screens, uh, what can happen is is the wasp can build some really large nests. And we're fixing to enter the Formosan swarm season. And when they start swarming, uh, they can go through these vents and create aerial colonies in your attic. And I have found some of those during my inspections. And so that's a really big reason why you want to check your soffit vents because it's a very important issue. And Formosans get worse every year, not better. And they also don't have to have ground contact at all. They can just build an aerial colony on your attic and go to work on your roof system. And so this is what a replacement one looks like. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, they're about a little bit less than three bucks a piece, so they're not expensive. And it's eight by 16, that's what these measure out. And you can see that this has got new screening on the back of it got the pre-drilled holes around the flange so it's not that hard to take these out and reinstall and one thing I kind of suggest to do as well is when you pull those off it's kind of look up there and see if you've got any uh, wood issues going on maybe mold or whatever and you could actually take the time to maybe uh, mitigate that problem but I also put boric acid up there as well uh, that's a powder uh, substance that's really good uh, for fogging insects and roaches all right well I figured I Follow it up here guys, just show you what I did. Um, I removed four of these. I still got some more to do on the other side of the house. And you can see that these vents have about had it. I mean, the screens are missing on pretty much all of them. And so these wouldn't do anything uh, preventing insects from getting into my attic. And I was really kind of fortunate that I didn't have any big wasp nest uh, up there. So what I did do is after I removed these old ones, I took this boric acid there and puffed a good bit of, of that product around uh, the openings in there before I put the new screens back on. Uh, this is what this looks like new. You will see a close-up of it. That's the back side of the screen. And this is the front side of it. Like I say, these are pretty inexpensive, about three bucks a piece. It took about an hour you know, to remove the old ones and put the new ones in, but part of what made that go really smooth was I had a pneumatic stapler uh, to pretty much staple them in place. Now, uh, I said earlier in my other video, you know, about finding these uh, painted over too, where people take sprayers, paint sprayers, and they spray the soffit area. And what happens is, is that spray will clog these screens. And so now no air can get through the vent because it's been sprayed over. Uh, but another problem that I often find more than that is that when I do attic inspections, I find where insulation has been blown over uh, these soffit areas. And so you can actually see that at night too with a bright flashlight. And so if you have insulation that's been, that's covering your vents, I recommend you remove the vent and push that insulation back and create clearance there, you know, because the way an attic vents, especially in this type of attic system, is the cool air comes from the bottom side of the soffit and enters up through the attic and exits through the top through the ridge vent up there. And it's really important that the attic be vented correctly. I would say about half the attics I inspect are not vented correctly. 
and that's one of the good reasons why you would have a home inspection but an, another thing you can do as well is go and get a wireless temperature and humidity monitor I think you can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, Sam's, I know you can get them online on Amazon and eBay and put one of those up there and monitor what's going on and if you have temperatures that are 10 degrees or, or more than the outside temperature then you really should entertain getting your attic more ventilation because if an improperly vented attic uh, can cut the service life of your shingles by more than half but not only that it puts a big thermal load uh, on your home as well and so it's going to just cost you a lot of money in the end you know from the damage to your house and your shingles and the extra work that your air conditioner is having to produce uh, to keep up with that so I hope this has been informative guys and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.